Hi, boys and girls. It's Lydia here from Scott Street Church. Have you ever heard the saying, April showers, spring, May flowers? I'm sure you have. Lots of people say it. In fact, I heard Pastor Rob say it from the pulpit just a few weeks ago. And you know what? It is so true, especially here where we live in Canada. April showers do bring May flowers. And it's so exciting to see the flowers burst through the soil and bloom. And in springtime, the grass gets green and lush and the trees bud and they get leaves and blossoms. And the natural world looks so exciting, especially after the gray and drab dormancy of winter. In fact, the plants look like they're dead, but surprise, they all explode into color in the spring. It's a uh, God's miracle at work. Do you like watching plants grow? I know that I do. And I know that a lot of people in our church family do as well, because I've been at many homes and I've seen amazing gardens, vegetable gardens, flower gardens, and boys and girls, you might be learning to be interested in plants growing. And if you want to see a plant grow up close, I have an activity that you could do. It's really easy. It just needs four things. First of all, you need a plastic cup. Then you need a few layers of paper toweling. And then you need some seeds. And I like bean seeds. They're very good for this activity. You can use the brown ones or the white ones. It doesn't matter. You can get them at a grocery store or the garden center really easy. And the last thing you need is just a little bit of water. And this is how you do it. You take the layers of paper towel and fold them lengthwise. So they're about the height of the cup. Then you take the paper towel and roll it around your fingers, your whole hand, and you tuck it into the cup. And make sure that it's nice and tight against the sides of the cup. You might want your mommy or daddy to help you with that. And then when it's nice and tight, you can place the bean seeds in between the paper towel and the plastic cup. Make sure that the bean seed is propped about halfway up. Don't let it go to the bottom because it will get moldy and rotten, too wet. And put all the bean seeds in. Then all you do is add a little bit of water, maybe about a centimeter, into the cup and watch how the water gets absorbed by the paper towel. And it will go right up to the bean seeds and make the bean seeds wet and start to swell and the life inside of them start to grow. That's called germinating. And it's just exciting to watch. If you watch those seeds for about a week, you will see some white fingers of roots going right down to the bottom. Those roots are reaching for the nutrients in the water. You know, roots are extremely important to a plant. Not only do they bring the nutrients up to the seed in the plant, but they also stabilize the plant. And do you know that in the Bible, there are lots of passages about plants and roots. In Ephesians 3 verse 17, it says that we, as followers of Jesus, should be firmly rooted and established in love so that we may have power. Doesn't that sound great? How can we be like roots? Well, rooted in love. God is love. So we need to know him, we need to get to know him by reading the Bible, by listening in church, and we need to obey him. And that way we get power in our life. If you watch these roots for another week, you will start to see a stem go straight up to the light because the green part of a plant needs nutrients from the sun. Yes, they still need nutrients from the roots in the bottom, but they also need nutrients from the sun. And you'll notice that the bean plant starts to branch out. Do you know that the Bible in John 15 verse five says that we are the branches? Jesus said that he is the vine and we are the branches. Really? How can we be branches? 
Well, we need to stay connected. Do you know that if this plant gets disconnected from the roots like this, that plant will not live long. It might live a few hours or maybe a day, but it won't live very long because it needs to be connected to the roots. And certainly the branches need to be connected to the center vine or stem too, so that the branches get all the necessary nutrients that they need. If you watch this bean plant for another number of weeks, you might wanna add water every day or two. Your bean plant becomes really big and bushy like this. And you might want to transplant your bean plants into some soil because soil has even more nutrients than water. You'll see something amazing. Do you see these little flowers here? They're blossoms and they become fruit. You know, the whole purpose of a plant is to have fruit. And these little blossoms will change into beans. First of all, little tiny beans, but then they'll look something like this hanging down and you can pick them and you can eat them raw or you can put them in bean soup or eat a bean salad and they're so yummy. Can we have fruit? Yes, we can. Again, in John chapter 15, verse two, Jesus says that his father is the gardener and he will cut off any branches that don't produce fruit. Oh, when I first read that, I was so concerned that I, as a follower of Jesus, would be producing the right kind of fruit. That's spiritual fruit, not like vegetables or apples, but spiritual fruit. And in Galatians 5.22, it tells us what the spiritual fruits are, the fruits of the Spirit. And you may have heard this before. It lists nine of them, and it's not hard to learn them all and remember them because remember what I said, the whole purpose to the plant's life and to our life is for the fruit. So the nine fruits of the spirit are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Aren't those wonderful fruits? And you know, boys and girls, have you thought about whether those fruits are in your life? If by some chance you don't have patience with your brother or sister, do you know that you're not showing the fruits of the Spirit? Or if I think of some unkind thoughts, I'm not having fruit of the Spirit. So we need to be really careful and we need to ask God to help us in our life to always show the proper fruits of the Spirit. Now, I would like to encourage you, even if you have done this before, try this activity again and be reminded that we are rooted in God's love, we are connected to the main stem or vine, and we would like to grow spiritual fruit that Jesus wants us to grow. Let's pray. Oh, dear Jesus, we thank you so much for all the beautiful plants that grow in spring here in Ontario. Thank you that we can be a part of the miracle of spring, that we can watch it happen. And dear Lord, thank you so much for all the imagery in your word that you give us about how our life can be like a plant, that we can be rooted in your love, that we can be connected to the main stem or vine, and that we can produce the right kind of fruit and lots of it. I just pray that you would help each and every one of us to take this lesson to heart. Amen.